a brother says, after having intimate relations with my wife, do we have to change our bed sheets each time and wash them? We do not use condoms, so fluid from me will get on the sheets, either semen or pre-seminal fluid, or the fluid will be from my spouse. I read on Islam Q&A that if Mavi is on the sheets, it is junub, but if it's many, it is not. But doesn't Mavi always come out before many? Please clarify. This issue is an issue of dispute since long time. Mm. But the vast majority of Muslim scholars, they look at the evidences. What is the evidence? First of all, is many, and many is semen or sperm. So is many or, or semen, is it pure or najis? What comes out of a person is either urine, and this is najis, hmm. or um, mevi, which is uh, the prosthetic fluid, and this is also najis. Usually it comes when there is intimacy or, fl or flirting with uh, the spouse. And there is wadi, and this is yellowish, a little bit uh, thin, that comes usually after urinating or when carrying something that is heavy or when it is extremely cold. And in all of these three are najis. And then we have semen. And this is for men and women. However, women have something extra, which is the continuous vaginal discharge, mm. which is an issue of dispute in the most authentic opinion, is that it is not najis and it does not nullify wudu. It is more or less like sweat. So when we come to the issue of semen, many, we have a hadith, which is authentic, that Mother Aisha report, uh, uh, narrated, May Allah be pleased with her. She said that whenever there are traces of semen on the garment of the Prophet والسلام, if it is dry, I would rub it off with my fingernail. Which means that if it's hard substance, rubbing it, in, rubbing it off does the job. And if it's wet, I would wash it. Now scholars from this hadith they learned that semen is pure because whenever there is an impurity, rubbing it off does not make the surface or the garment or the cloth pure. You have to wash it. Yeah. But when she told us that rubbing it off does the job, this meant that semen is pure. Now, how did this semen reach that area, that garment? Was it mixed with pre-seminal fluid, Madhi? Was it mixed with his spouse discharge? This is something we do not have knowledge of, but we have the basic knowledge. That is, whenever there are such discharges on your bed sheet mixed with semen, then this is pure. Mm. Because we don't have details of what Mother Aisha did, may Allah be pleased with her, and the content of what she rubbed off. And hence we assume that it is sufficient to be removed, and if not removed, it is still pure regardless of what was mixed with it. And this is the most authentic opinion. So whether you have it on your bed sheet, whether you have it on your clothes, it is pure. Is it disgusting or not? Definitely. But it doesn't affect the validity of your salat, if you have it. Would it be recommended to wash it? Yes, sure. But 
again, it is not a determining factor whether your salat is accepted or not because Mother Aisha told us that she used to rub it mm. off the Prophet's salam, garment. So brother and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you liked the video of Mufti Asmul Hakim and I hope you have watched his video till end. So in today's video, we have watched a video of Mufti Asmul Hakim in which Mufti Asmul Hakim told us about and our question was asked to him that what we should do or should we change our bed sheet after having intercourse with wife. So this is very common question which is usually asked by both by both Muslim men and women and there is no good answer we can found than this video of Mufti Asmul Hakim. As you can see in the video how beautifully Mufti Asmul Hakim explained and solved the issue and he told us according to Quran and Hadith that in this condition what we should do and what is the best way. So guys what do you think what Mufti Asmul Hakim told us is logical or not please let us know by giving your comments below and if you are satisfied with the video of Mufti Asmul Hakim then it's a request to you guys please share this video with your friends and family members so they can get benefit from it and other requests please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever a new video will be published you will get its notification first see you guys in next video till then allah hafiz